that a loved one just passed away and left behind a property that you don't even want in Miami, Florida? Well, today, I'm actually going to give you a few tips on what is it that you can do with a property that you don't even want that a, le that a loved one left behind, okay, in Miami, Florida. Tip number one. <clears throat> First thing I advise you to do is get in contact with a probate attorney. The purpose of a probate attorney is so they can actually represent you and legally get this property transferred over to you where now you become the owner on titles. And during that process, they would actually cross-reference to make sure there's no other properties or any other assets that's lingering that nobody know about. So in the beginning, you probably thought it was just one property now, once they actually did cross-reference, they realized your parent, your loved one actually owned multiple properties, multiple businesses, and, and now you actually own more than one property. So best thing I tell you, get in contact with a probate attorney. Tip number two, look into renting it. You know, you got a property, it's sitting there, it's vacant, <clears throat> you know, it's, you know, it's really not collecting, no, you're not making no money from it. And, uh, you know, you can actually rent it out. Best thing I want you to do, first thing I want you to do is, uh, is when you're actually, now, when you're stepping into renting, you're actually a landlord. You're responsible for taxes, insurance, and maintenance, keeping up the place, and etc. So since you're actually a landlord, you need to have you a handyman close by so they can actually um, do some repairs in case of emergency. You're dealing with tenants, they're gonna call you. If something breaks, they're gonna call you. The kitchen, you know, there's some tenants that won't call you, they'll take care of it. And there's other tenants that don't care. They go call you up and complain about this not working, that not working. And now you would have to get in contact with your handyman so they can actually so he can actually get it done for you so you don't have to deal with the headache. But if you're the type of person that don't want to deal with uh, you know, tenants that don't want to have a handyman that you have to constantly call late night, etc., to get something done. I advise you leave it in the hand of a professional, which is a property management company. Let them take care of all of that, that 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 nonsense, and you would actually get a monthly payment every single month. They get paid from what you get paid every single month. Whatever agree whatever agreement that you work out with your property management company, you pay them. They, they actually get paid, they satisfy, you paid every single month, you're happy, and you know, the rest is history. Tip number three, you can look into selling it. Before you can actually sell it, or before you do anything, get in contact with a real estate uh, agent, where they would actually give you like the stats of, you know, what your property can actually sell for. If it's in great condition, if it's in bad condition, you know, they'll give you the stats if it's, you know, for, for that point let you know everything about the problem. Before I forget, we buy houses from people just like you. <clears throat> but if you're not the type that don't want to go through the real estate agent, want to list it and wait a few months to, so you can actually uh, get uh, your proceeds, you can deal with a uh, cash buy investor that, that can actually get this thing wrapped up in the next 30 days. But, you know, <clears throat> but if you're the type that just doesn't want to rent it, sell it, you might, uh, you know, tip number three, look into charity. Give the property as a gift. Do some research in the area of where you actually live in currently. If it's Miami, Florida, Broward County, Fort Lauderdale, you know, West Palm Beach. <clears throat> Do some research and look for companies that actually accept donations and contact them and let ask them what's the donation process. Once you actually figure out the donation process and now you just give it to them as a gift. I hope that actually helped. Uh, you know, if you have a property that you don't even want, it was inherited to you and a loved one passed away. I hope this actually helped you guys out, okay? If you have any questions, feel free, reach out, send me a message. Have a great day, okay?